Well, folks, welcome to the first video of the channel. Um, the whole channel will be based around tool reviews, um, all different types of tools, power tools, hand tools, more specifically geared toward carpentry. Um, that's the only trade that I have hands-on experience with is carpentry. I'm not an electrician, uh, not a plumber, not an HVAC guy, uh, although I've worked closely with all those trades, um, no hands-on experience doing any of that type of work. So, specifically, tools that are geared more toward carpentry um, and the like. And not all professional quality tools either, as time goes on. Um, we'll do series that are geared toward the, the homeowner, the, the prosumer type stuff, uh, some of the more affordable brands, with the purpose of reaffirming that you don't need to go out and spend an extraordinary amount of money on tools to accomplish whatever tasks you might have around the home. So there's that. Um, and I figured what better way to kick off the channel than with an unboxing and demo. Uh, so we'll do the unboxing inside here in the office uh, where we can sort of work like a gentleman, unbox things, move things aside, have a close look at some stuff. And then for the demo, obviously we'll go out, we'll cut some things, we'll uh, we'll see what she's got. Um, so we'll open her up. I I went with the whole the whole kit. Uh, comes with the nine amp hour battery charger bag, and uh, this is the sixty volt flex volt seven and a quarter inch worm style uh, circular saw. Uh, rear handle. Uh, Rants and raves on the review, so we'll see. We'll see how uh, we'll see how she looks. Let's see how she looks. All right. Right on top, we have the the bag. Kind of small. Kind of a small bag. Um, now, I have no experience with this saw. I don't know how big it is in person, but uh, if it's anything like my Mag 77, this, this bag uh, will not do. Um, this bag will not do, which seems to be a common theme with DeWalt giving bags that are too small to accommodate the products that they sell with them, uh, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Uh, instruction manual, certification safety information, Right, charger. Waltz DCB one one eight fast charger. Fast charger. What do we have here? Assume this is the battery. Let's see. There it is. 90 amp hour, flex volt, battery, and one bar, beautiful, shouldn't expect anything less, is that, and here she is, dear god, what a beauty, what a beauty, oh and a blade, let me see. 24 teeth. Common framing blade. Nothing, uh, nothing too special with that. Carbide teeth. Um, it's a framing blade. All right. Uh, she's she's heavy. It's a heavy saw. Um, this is my first cordless framing saw that I've ever, that I've ever had, that I've ever used, as a matter of fact, um, it feels a little chintzy, I don't know if I would want to give this any light slams or drops, I feel like this would break, I could be way off, it could be, this is strictly first impressions, I, I don't know, but I feel like this would break very, very easily. 
I can only imagine how much that's going to weigh with this battery in it. So let's see. It's actually not not terrible. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely got some weight to it, which is which is fine. I mean, the Mag Seventy Seven is a tank of a saw. I just assumed that it being cordless would uh, take a little bit of weight away from it, but but I'm not opposed to it being to being a heavy heavy saw um, for what it's used for. You know, driving through stuff. I uh, I imagine the weight will be actually a little bit of a benefit for keeping keeping the cuts accurate, straight on. Not a whole lot of movement with the saw once you start cutting. Um, let's see. Shoe adjustment. Uh, it's it's a shoe adjustment. I mean, I do like how how defined my increments are, my depth. That's uh, that is nice. See. Bevel cuts. Oh wow! So it's got positive stops. It's got positive stops at 22 and a half, 45, and obviously 53. Yeah, that is actually uh, that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, onboard tool storage, which is a must. That's a must right there. Um, yeah. So that's everything it comes with in the box, naturally. Uh, as far as that kit is concerned, that kit is the uh, the DCS five seven seven X one, I believe, is the kit. The kit code. Uh, once again, you get in the the saw. Um, nine amp hour flex volt battery, fast charger, uh, and, and, and a bag. And furthermore, to my point with the bag, before we go outside start really seeing what this saw is all about and you know, put the blade on and all that stuff uh, let's have a look at this bag here um, something tells me that although the saw will fit in the bag it it will be yeah that's that's not really You know, the problem I have with DeWalt's bag included type of stuff is that, number one, this is going to fall over. It's, it doesn't sit in the bag properly. I don't know if you can see. Um, and also, you're selling me a kit. You sold me a kit with a charger and a battery. Now, mind you, you could store the battery, obviously, in the tool when it's in the bag. Two for one type of storage. Um, but the charger. If I wanted to put this charger in the bag, that's going to create a problem. And I, I would almost be willing to bet that if I try to put this charger somewhere in this bag, um, we're going to have another problem. I mean, it'll hold it. It will. But I'm not a fan. I feel like you could have given me a bigger bag for $450. You could have given me. As a matter of fact, a saw like this, for what they charge for it, should come in a hard case. Uh, this saw should come in a plastic hard case. I know some people don't like the plastic cases. Some people prefer the bags. I personally, it's a mixture of both. The bags serve their purpose with certain things. But a saw like this really should have really should have a, a, a plastic hard case to store it in and to protect the tool when you're not using it. Um, and for the, the price that they charge for this saw, uh, I think it's it's kind of insulting that they give me this this cheap cloth bag to store it in. So there's that. Uh, it does have a sky hook, rafter hook on the side. Which I would imagine would do a pretty good job holding the saw up. Only time will tell. Like I said, this is a this is the unboxing portion of the video. We're just giving first impressions, how I feel just holding the saw for the first time. Um, 
But from what I understand, the SAR is extremely powerful and, and it performs well. So I hope I have the same experience with it as the reviews I've read and watched. And uh, yeah, time will tell. So why don't we take it outside? Take it outside, get it set up. Uh, put the battery on. Uh, the blade on, of course. We'll find some stuff to cut. And, uh, we'll see how she does. All right, here we go. All right, friends, and welcome back to the demonstration portion of the DeWalt rear handle worm drive style circular saw. Take everything out of this wonderful bag they've provided for us. Let's get that right out of here. Now, first bit of business here is installing this wonderful blade that they've provided for us. Once again, the onboard tool storage is a must. Now, one thing to remember with any worm drive style saw is that it's left line of sight and your threads are reverse thread. Um, so, lefty tighty, righty loosey in this case. So, what we do is open this guard up. Very simple. And we will take the first bit of hardware off. Right here. Secondly, just this piece. Now it can be very deceiving because this will also come off. There's nothing preventing that from happening. However, worm drive style saws have the diamond cutout. And you'll notice on this piece a perfect corresponding shape for that to fit in. So, line that up so she drops in. There we are. Back on. And replace that bolt. Easy peasy. Now, Drop the guard, backhand side, you'll find on this particular saw, is your, basically just prevents the blade from spinning, and the sole purpose of that is to be able to tighten the blade. Now think of it much like a table saw, we don't want to crank the piss out of it, we just want to snug it up, you don't got to go overboard with that. So there's that, blade's on. Take this out. In goes battery. That should be good. Did not hear a secure. There we are. That's the sound I was looking for. And if all is good, there we are. Put the wrench back in this puppy. Get rid of this little battery cover they provided for us. There it is to be productive. How productive, I don't know. But first impressions like we discussed earlier, um, I mean it's the same ABS plastic as you're going to find on any of the DeWalt products. Uh, impact guns, hammer drills, multi-tool, what have you, sawzall, jigsaw. I just feel like this is a different type of tool. And if this takes a serious fall from a great height, uh, there's a good to fair chance I feel that this is going to break. Um, magnesium shoe and guard could be good, could be kind of bad, but we'll see. So we'll get some materials set up to cut and we'll move forward with that. All right, so. Found some two by material lying around to uh, do some practice cuts with. See how it performs. That's Callie. Don't mind her. All right, let's see what it does, shall we? 
we will just leave the shoe as is. Full depth of cut. I'm just curious to see how it performs that way. No bevel, nothing fancy. See how she does. say it throws the sawdust right at you right at you um, I know there is a type of aftermarket piece you can put on for dust collection uh, you know for 400 once again it goes back to the price point for $450 you think not only a hard case but they would include the vacuum hookup for the guard um, but I forgot who we were dealing with here. On to the next thing. All right, so now with a little bit of light we have left, we will get a, uh, a rip cut in this two by. Um, we're not gonna go fancy and throw in any lines or anything like that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna bury the blade in the material, run it down, see what she does. It's comfortable, I'll say that. It's very comfortable. Now, it's tough to say in one of these intro unboxing demo videos just how comfortable it truly is. Um, this is something that as time goes on, we will uh, we'll do some updates with. But I have to say, uh, my first impressions of it, uh, at least when I unboxed it, were, were, a, little, were, were a little off. Um, once you get cutting with it, I will say it feels it feels pretty solid. Um, it does feel solid. But in any case, let's get a rip cut and uh, yeah, we'll see what else. You know, if we got enough light, we'll, uh, we'll cut some other stuff. So let's see what we can do. Here. Pushing on it pretty hard. I was feeding that saw uh, right into that. And uh, like we discussed in the beginning of the video, you know, it's, it's weight is a benefit. Uh, it's weight is a benefit. It helps keep the saw on track. Uh, it doesn't really allow it to move around or walk a whole lot. Um, I think most of you guys that use these type of saws, you know, this handle, while it can come in handy, is, is kind of a courtesy piece. You know, most of us are just running this thing through one-handed, just pushing from the rear. Um, but, I have to say, I have to say, I, uh, I like it. I like it. I definitely think I'm going to give the Mag 77 a break, which we'll also do, we'll do a full review of that, because that, in my opinion, is the pinnacle of uh, rear handle saws, and that is a true worm drive saw as well. But that is corded. That's a corded saw. I know they make a cordless version now. Um, I think True HVL, something like that. Uh, batteries and, and and that thing's a beast too. Uh, but I just decided with the battery platform that I'm already invested in, because I do have other flex volt batteries. Uh, I'm already invested in that platform, so I went with the Dewalt cordless uh, rear handled saw. But uh, yeah, this thing this thing is definitely going to take Mag 77's place for a little while. And we're going to get some reps in with it, and, uh, and we are going to do our due diligence as far as testing it, trialing it, see what it does, see how well it holds up, and how productive it is. Because at the end of the day, that's a tool's purpose, right? It's to be productive. For many of us, it's to uh, it's our way of, of, of putting food on the table in most cases. So 
We want our tools to be productive. We want them to be long lasting. We want them to do what they are supposed to do for us. Uh, yeah, so I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more. This is our first video of the channel. Uh, with many more to come, we've, we've got a, a plethora of tools to, to review and to go over and talk about and, and uh, do some demos and tests on and things like that. So if that's what you're into, if that's something that might be interesting for you, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Like everybody else tells you, hit the subscribe notification bell. Don't miss a thing. Got plenty of content coming. So uh, thank you for hanging out, guys, and take care. Thank you.